Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Football is back! I'd like to welcome you guys to my dynasty mode where I have created the Bay Area Otters. Now, in order to put them into the game, I had to take out the BYU Krugers. Hopefully in the next game, they'll be able to make it to where you can make expansion teams instead of taking teams out. But nonetheless, our team is going to be led by the great motivator himself, Tyson Young. And they're going to be facing off in their first week against FCS Midwest. Now, we're going to be trying to focus on the highlights of the game, touchdowns, interceptions, that sort of thing, until the very end. So I hope you guys enjoy. Earn that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it. I'm trying to steal your guys. It is not easy. Probably as difficult as it's ever been, David, to be a head coach now with the transfer. And they're having their eyes to that portal, looking at a better destination, makes it miserable for him. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell the defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. He looks that one in nicely. They bring him from the gun, wants to pass, throws to the wideout. Got his man. Going up top on first down. Forced out of the pocket. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. By the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it. And the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. He's got an open man. And he was. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game, game, offense. offense. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful. So our defense was able to make a stop here. Uh, granted, couldn't stop him from getting the field goal in. I'm still trying to figure that out as I'm playing the game. But either way, Jack Kelly definitely probably going to be one of our biggest rushers on the quarterback I, I, I'm happy so far with it again if I haven't said it before the roster of the BYU Krugers are still intact as they are now the Otters so I'm really looking forward to this team playing well the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal let's see what the defense can do on the run from inside his own five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. as we take a look at our impact players for this game david that's a great job by the offense grab near the marker it's roberts now for this offense now they'll run the draw Gets him down at the oh, marked at the 26. It's first and ten. They're getting this guy lathered up. He's brought down, but he wants to throw it. Catch in the middle. It's Roberts. Down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he's able to pick up a few yards as we reach the end of the first quarter. They try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He'll keep it on the sneak. Wedges, pushes, and he's over and in for the touchdown. Third down and goal. I want the touchdown. Is it predictable? Do I know he's going under center? Do I know he's going to run a quarterback sneak? Yeah, but guess what? It's still so hard to stop. That's why you see it so much down here in the red zone, especially in situations like this in third goal when you need it. Touchdown for the offense. Couldn't get the score in the first quarter, but we got it early in the second quarter. Our offense is moving really smoothly. 
Uh, I'm happy that the fact that we have a good run game, even though I think this is going to probably be a more pass-heavy team, but definitely being able to lean on that run game is very important, especially for picking up those small yardages or getting into the, the end zone. So let's see how the rest of this game goes. They go to the ground. Still on his feet at the 45. You no, know you're going to run it, right? This offense right now is just more physical. They're more physical up front in the trenches, and this is demoralizing for this defense. Leaves it with the back. Slam to the ground. Looking to move it through the air. Trying to get to it. He's going to take off. On the run. Now, you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Smashes it between the uprights. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, guys, got a final. So still couldn't keep them out of the red zone there as they get the field goal. It seems like we was having a bit of trouble with the rushing game and then also to the QB scrambled really good. But we're going to see what we can keep doing and see if we can apply more pressure on that QB. Thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just a successful drive. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. I'm telling you, he's just a play away from taking it to the house. Keep letting this guy do his thing. It's complete to the left. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Makes the catch! And it's in for a touchdown. The quarterback's ability to read the field is huge, and also the anticipation, the time. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. So the pass game is strong. As you can see, Bohannon is throwing eight out of eight completions, even though some more yardage is to be desired, but this pass game seems like it's gonna be really tough for the Otters. And he'll just... They'll try to power their way ahead. He at least cut into this lead before the break. And the Coyotes will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. So good stoppage on the defense here, but I think I jinxed our QB because as soon as I say 8 out of 8, he gets his first miss completion. <laughs> they keep attacking through the air with the catch. It's Roberts. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Quick timeout. Absolute right ball. They're going for it on fourth down. Complete out of the backfield. And they wrap him up. Behind the defense, he makes the catch and keeps the drive alive. Quick strike complete. And how about he wants to throw? Pressure coming. And the defense gets to the quarterback. They'll immediately call it. They'll run it on third and goal. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. I think you love starting the year off with 
with some momentum. And that's exactly what this offense is doing. They're firing on all cylinders. Defense doing their job as well. This team getting out the gates to start the season in great fashion. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. Give up a big return. And it'll come out to so Midwest here is going to kneel it out for basically going into the half. So, so far in the first half, it feels like defense definitely played a huge part in this game as they got the perfect stops that we were able to capitalize on. Uh, basically getting the run game involved, getting a little bit of passing game involved. So offense looks like it's going to be pretty strong on both ends. It's just a matter of playing against a tougher team to really see how far they can go. But it looks like we have weapons. So now we're going into the second half. Coyotes will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So we'll see the offense on the field to start. Looking to throw for it. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop. Good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Green has hit him for a first down and much more. Really good execution by this offense. Movement here from the tight end. Here's the handoff. Runs through a tackle. He'll be down at the floor. This thing over. Be physical and push this defense around. A first down run on the doorstep. And he burrows his way into the end zone for a touchdown. And it's been more of the same in the second half for this offense, doing whatever they want. What a start to the season, man. This is exactly what you draw up. Everything they drew up in the offseason has worked in game one, and that's why they are dominating this football game. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Really disappointing on second down. Wide receiver shows motion. Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. And it's loose. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover forced by the defense. So another huge play by Jack Kelly there. I'm telling you, this guy is going to be probably our top rusher on the team. Putting us in great position here in the red zone. Pretty sure we're going to score it here. It's just a matter of seeing how good this defense could be against a really good team. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback Steve trying to power his way ahead for a few. Wedges, pushes, and he's over and in for the touchdown. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That and the extra point is good, and the lead is 35 to 6. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disappointed. Five out to the 24. I like this for the 26. Trying to pick it up on the ground. The ball was out behind the line. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Man, and it was just the impact of the hit that dislodged the football from the ball carrier. It was a heat-seeking missile coming in there, and he knocked that thing loose. Back-to-back -back fumbles are never good, especially in the early parts of a possession and a drive. 
But, man, this defense right now is looking like a monster. I hope we keep this up. Stay on the sidelines. Big boys in the goal line D. Quarterback sneak trying to get a push. Wedges, pushes, and he's over and in for the touchdown. Well, I think this home environment was just too much for their opponents to handle. There's been unbelievable noise and energy. The crowd showed up today, but how about the playmaking on the field? These guys have got dudes all over the field, and this kind of win week one sends a statement. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So with 42 to 6, it's coming very clear that this game is done. Basically, the game plan for the Otters is going to be just running down the clock. You know, just try to keep, you know, the ball moving, keep the clock running, keep it respectful. The other team already took out their starting quarterback. So definitely they're trying to change up and try to make this game respectable in some kind of way and get some reps in for their backup. Uh, I respect it. Coyotes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The corners are walked up tight. He's looking to throw it. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Snags it on the right. Touchdown, Dingoes! And once he got loose, it was all over. And this has been a rough day for this offense. And finally, some good things to happen. Build some momentum maybe for the future. You know, that's that's the way the coaches spin it when you're getting beat up and you're getting destroyed. Like, listen, let's find something for the future. Let's keep fighting. Let's keep working. This team's done that. Put some points on the board. So it's not all bad. And just as I say that, they throw the deep ball. I don't know if that was blown coverage or just user error there. But either way, kudos to them for getting that quick score. That backup quarterback looks impressive. <laughs> now, in a game they'll be talking about in Logan for some time. They're up by 32 over the Royals. We've got our eye on this one and everything else. Lead establish the run, establish the physicality. And you know what helps? That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. Still running at the 40. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't think. Really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. And the runner is down, and so is a flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. In the backfield. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. You can't make the... So the team actually got a stop on us, uh, not trying to push it or try to force it in too much. We decided to try to kick a field goal here, which is the first issue I think I'm feeling with the team here as our kicker misses the field goal. I don't think it was too far out either. It was like maybe a 30 to 40 something yard kick. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're still in the lead. We still got some really impressive weapons. It's just, I might be looking for a new kicker. Ball still on the 34 after the incompletion. Let's see if they throw it again on second and 10. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback is sacked. There are penalty flags down, but this might be doubly bad for the offense. They the line, facing third and long from the 25. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Getting some heat. And he's going to be stopped just now. Way more manageable. It's tough. When you got fourth in Africa. Did a great job of making this manageable and keeping the. Oh, what a grab by the defense. Takes it the other way. He's at the 10. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp. So again, our defense is just piling on as 
Jacob Robinson got that very unnecessary interception, but so very happy that we got some good backs here to put on some good coverage, good hands, uh, put us in great field position for easy score here. Again, the score 48 to 13, unnecessary. <laughs> but still a good feeling though, especially going towards better teams and possibly even to see if we can get a good playoffs run. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Going to touchdown. And they desperately... Mistakes are gonna happen as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was... Fires into traffic. It's picked off. Didn't find much room on the return, but now they are in business and poised to strike from the 25. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats. Get the INT. Nice job by this D. Now Jacob Robinson's just showboating because back-to-back interceptions, that's madness. He's stealing the show away from Jack Kelly. Basically, I'm just going to call him the JJ Brothers. Our defense is OP. Hopefully, we can repeat a performance like this in a later game, especially against a tougher team. Uh, only time will tell, but this, this game's in the bag. He thought about bringing that. Create some explosive plays on this offense because today they've been lacking. They want to just keep throwing it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day. They've been doing everything great. Just You can tell they were dialed into what was going on, and now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. Big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. And it's picked off for the third time today. Not a lot on the return, but they can live with that as they've got it at the 49. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the With both another sack and interception, Otters are just bullying the Midwest here. I, I'm feeling really bad. We're just going to try to run the clock out here as fast as we can and just end this game. Because, dear Bob. Room to work with as they start this drive from their own 15. They'll throw it on first down. He's taking a deep shot. Falls incomplete. They fought to the final whistle, but that's going to do it. The old coaching cliche go winner no every week. And for the first week, they get it done. That great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out, find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work out throughout the season. But 1-0, oh, that's where you want it to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff, Thank you guys so much for watching to the end. This is my first time doing this type of recording. So I'm going to try to figure out how I can improve and make this better. Uh, but keep an eye out for more to come. And again, thank you again. Keep it 100, guys. Till next time.